What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I will tell you everything you need to know about Garchomp in Pokemon Unite. We will talk about his evolutions, abilities, playstyle, builds, items and combos. I've done some great research and found the best possible build, items and abilities for Garchomp. If you want to skip certain parts, go ahead, there are timestamps in the description. Let's get straight into it. Let's start with the Garchomp's evolution and playstyle. Garchomp is an all-round melee Pokemon and his whole kit is built around being a frontline bully. He has two passives. The first one is called Rough Skin and every time he gets hit by a melee attack, he reflects some of the damage back to the enemy. The second is his boosted attack. Every fifth attack does more damage and restores some of your health. Also, the more you hit a certain Pokemon, the faster you will attack. You start every game as Gibble and you will have the option to go for Sand Attack or Bulldoze. It is an easy choice, choose Bulldoze. This will help you clear the first A bombs way faster. At the start of the match, go into your lane with Bulldoze and clear as fast as possible. Garchomp is a bottom laner, but he can go top as well. At level 3, you will get Sand Attack. Sand Attack is a debuff. Hitting a Pokemon with Sand Attack decreases their vision and movement speed. You on the other hand get a slight buff in attack speed and movement speed. Great for early team fight. You can hit multiple Pokemon with one sand attack. Use your bulldoze in team fights for some great AoE damage. You won't evolve until you're level 6, so until then stay close to your teammates and don't go too far on your own. You have no escapability. At level 6 you evolve into Gabite and now you can loosen up a bit. Slowly but surely you can fight anyone 1v1. Now you can choose between Dig and Dragon Rush. I will always go for Dragon Rush. Dig is decent as well, because Dig will stun the enemy for a second, but Dragon Rush will push them wherever you choose. My favorite build is all about pushing Pokemon around the map. For example, use Dragon Rush to push the enemy Pokemon towards your teammates for easy kills. At level 8, you can choose between Earthquake or Dragon Claw. Go for Dragon Claw. Same as with Dragon Rush, you can push enemies towards where you are aiming. You can combine Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw beautifully together. For max damage, you can use Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw right after. This will push them away while also doing a lot of damage. Dragon Rush is your gap closer and push ability, but your main damage ability is Dragon Claw. At level 10, you will evolve into Garchomp, and now you will be able to play very aggressively. His 1v1 power is amazing due to both of his passives, and with Dragon Claw, you can almost certainly win every 1v1. Combination tip, you can combine Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw into one ability. Use Dragon Rush and while charging use Dragon Claw. This will turn into a Flying Claw combo. It does a little less damage, but this way it deals out all the damage at once. It will look something like this. Two very important tips. 1. If you are under level or the same level, don't stay in big team fights for too long. Use your abilities and get out. You will get stuck and die. Garchomp is a 1v1 master, keep that in mind. 2. If you are overleveled, assert yourself. No one can take you down on their own. They need 2 or 3 Pokemon at least. Next up, the build. But before we go into his build, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Pokemon Unite videos. Let's continue. To recap, for the abilities, go for Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw. Both are great for creating space and pushing Pokemon around. Also, very good combination possibilities. For the held items, go for the muscle band to gain more attack and attack speed. This skills beautiful with your passive. You gain so much more attack speed in prolonged fights. After that, go for wise glasses. This will make your dragon rush and dragon claw ability do a lot more damage. And last, the scope lens, which will increase your critical hit rate and damage. All these items are built for damage and faster attack speed. Remember the passives, more attack speed and every 5th attack heals you a bit of the damage that you dealt. The faster you have your 5th attack, the more you heal. The more you heal, the longer you can fight. The longer you can fight, the more critical hits you will do. It all combines into his playing style. For his battle item, I tried a lot of them in the beta. I would use the potion or the eject button. The potion gives you just a little bit better sustainability and keeps you in fights longer. The eject button can help you chase or run away a bit better. Garchomp is not the fastest. Let's talk about his Unite move, Livid Outrage. Whenever you use this, Garchomp chains 5 different attacks that do a lot of damage. He enrages and gets some damage reduction as well. If you hit all of the attacks, he will do more than 11,000 damage, and the enemy will not survive. The last attack is the most important one. This will stun the enemy Pokemon as well. After you used it, Garchomp is still enraged and takes less damage for around 3 seconds. 
Use the Unite move in big fights to hit as many enemies as you can. You can use this when you are low health and still win a lot of fights due to the damage reduction. This is everything you need to know about Garchomp. Remember a few things. Assert yourself, take 1v1s and combo your abilities and you will do fine. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.